Hey, hey, baby, how you doing? Good morning, Ken. Come on in. <laughs> I love this house. It's my favorite listing. Oh, thanks, Ken. That's a big problem. Well, tell us all about it. All right. Well, um, this is a remodel, and this house is actually built like a bunker. This is a solid concrete house. Um, even the interior walls are concrete. So if there's a storm, I know where I'm coming out of. Heck yeah. <laughs> out of everywhere in town. So right here we've got our living room. And um, this is where your TV will go right here. I haven't put one up yet, but that's coming because as we wait um, for this to sell, I also have it on Airbnb for now. Um, one of the most creative stalls was this cool bookcase here is not just a bookcase. This is a fridge cabinet in disguise. <laughs> That's right. my favorite feature. Right? Isn't it cool? Spike built these floating shelves here, and um, Greg and Matt built this fridge cabinet with the bookshelves, and it's so multifunction and just design cool. Like, look at how they did this. I'm not going to give away their secrets, yeah. but people are all like, how did they do that? These miter joints are perfect, perfect. Are and the spacing is absolutely exact. It's like really... It's really unbelievable. Quality. I wish I could do that kind of work. Yeah, no kidding. So kudos to Spike. He did a good yeah. job. Um, so here's the fridge cabinet. You come to this side and you see you've got this really cool fridge and a wine cabinet. Greg built this wine cabinet here for me. Got a little spot for your glasses and your bottles. And it's kind of cool. It's got that like herringbone crisscross thing. And it allows you to open your freezer wider here. You're not right up against the yeah. wall. Hit the, don't hit the walls all the time. On yes, Sunday. I know. Check out this cool fridge. It's got this little beverage door opener. You just uh -huh. click this, click this here, and then if you want to open the whole fridge, you just don't click that. Yeah. And it's really got a lot of space in here. It's one of my favorite fridges. I like that feature. You don't have to let all the cold air out of your veggies. And yeah, to grab a beer, right? That's right. That's right. I swear there was more wine in that rack the other day. Hey, oh, okay. <laughs> Um, this was, uh, these came from Cookies and Slabs. These are beautiful pieces of ash, I believe. And then Spike took these to his shop and he finished them up for us too with this beautiful stain and poly. And they're just smooth like glass. I mean, there's so much custom work in this house. Um, Matt and Greg did all these craftsman style uh, trim work up here. And um, our, my friend from Lowe's called me. He had this cool, this is like the last one of this designer thing. Cool and I got one. an awesome deal on that. Um, one of the things I put in every one of my houses are these sinks. You've got a drying rack here. So if you're just like washing a couple cups or something, you've got a vegetable tray and a chopping block. And all of this just slips out. And you've got this big sink and we did go ahead and put the garbage disposal in there. Very so cool. it's really multifunctional. I love this kind of sink. And you get to look out at your beautiful oasis out back. Oh yeah, the hammock area. Yeah. On Airbnb, I call this the hammock house because we did this over here and there's yeah. a fire pit. Fire pit. And um, you know, all these plants out here, the ones that are surviving are thriving. Uh, a couple of them died and, and we'll replace those with something a little more hardy, but I haven't touched this landscaping. It's awesome. like no maintenance. <laughs> so that's yeah. been really nice. That's natural back there what's growing. It's like, I didn't even have to put grass in. So um, here's another thing I love about this. We have these new cool backless stoves. Yeah. This is one of my new favorite things. So. We went ahead and put one of these in. It's a little extra money, but honestly, I just think sure. the design is Looks so sweet. Sexy, right? Isn't it? And that back's great. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Like, just a little contrast here, and it just makes this all feel like one space. So, um, yeah, a lot of tile work. We went all the way to the ceiling with this tile. Um, these cabinets are awesome. Oh, and this is a custom paint color. You cannot just oh. order these cabinets no, you this can't. color. Matt went ahead and sprayed all this for us, and... Um, and they're soft clothes, really awesome drawers, lots of drawer space I think is important in a kitchen. Um, so yeah, that kind of covers this main area. Okay, so coming down the hallway, there's light switches everywhere. You can turn everything on and off from multiple places. There's dimmer switches. Um, this bathroom is huge. This is an awesome shared bathroom for guests and friends. Um, this. This is also a custom piece. We custom painted this. We put the butcher block on. We picked the sink and put it in. Um, this is this is a really cool circle mirror, and I kind of carried that design to these hand colors oh, here. Isn't that nice? Yeah. yeah, then just you know a little staging, a little bird here and there. 
Um, I thought this orange was just a nice pop with all of the nice. white and black that we have. It just it feels classy, but also welcoming and fun. Yeah, and I love the ledge on this tub. Oh, the ledge is cool. Like makes it so oh, much yeah. roomier. You gotta shave your leg. Yeah. You gotta somewhere to put your leg. You know. That's exactly. Big. That's a real that thing. That adds a lot of space. Yeah, cool. Thanks for pointing that out. Oh, and these are cool. Oh yeah, place to hide your hide your wet Set your phone on there. Right. Nobody sets yeah. their phone down. Nobody sets their phone down when they're doing what they're doing. There, you're right about that. Oh, well, I'll show you this feature. I've got a feature in this bathroom that is also shared in the other bathroom. Yeah. but we'll hold that. Yeah, up. let's let's. Um, it's a three bedroom house. Each room we've got these solid wood doors, which are great for fire rating. We, yeah. we stained them. They're beautiful. They're not like, they're not MDF. Not they're the wood. Yeah. Junk. They're not junk. They're nice. And they took some time to put in. Um, yeah. And you know, we've got a queen bed in this room right now, just kind of to give you an idea of the scope here. And it's got a small closet over here where yeah. you can hang things and maybe even put a small dresser in there. I like the matching um, headboard, but. Matches the door. It does. It just kind of worked out that way. Yeah. Cool. And then for Airbnb purposes, I went ahead and I put um, these full-size bunk beds. Uh, both are full. That's They're cool. both full. And check this out. It's just a ton of space. If you want to use this house as a rental, you've got a twin trundle down here as well. So, <laughs> cool. Yeah. Tons of space. Really great. Awesome. Kids up. love bunk beds and hidden compartments. They Ooh. definitely do. And then you got another deep closet in here. This one's a bigger closet. Um, down the hallway here. This is where we were going to move the HVAC. Yeah. And then we had this brain fart. Like, <laughs> Let's put it in the attic. Because now, come this way, Ken. You have this huge closet. And I'm kind of going to let the buyer decide, I think. If they want a coat shelf in here with a with the the hanging bar, or if they want multiple shelves for like a towel closet, yeah. So I've kind of left this alone for the minute, okay. you know, and I'll let somebody make that. Decision yeah, that is themselves. really deep. It is, and this is all concrete. If there's a storm, this is where you want to hide. Like this is the spot you're not going anywhere. So that's the one right there. That's it. Um, now, if you turn around. Should I turn? Well, where do you want to go first? Oh, geez. Let's go to my favorite part of the house. Before we get into the king size master bedroom, yeah. check out this master walk in closet. Yeah. Um, this right here, I really feel like is the thing that's going to sell this house above all else. The design's awesome. It's in a pretty cool location, but this closet, I mean, look, I can't even touch the walls. It's so good. Um, his side, her side, obviously, a little more room to hang things. You've got your long hanging, you've got your shirts and your pants, and then the spot for your jewelry and your ties. And I even thought, you know, if you wanted to put in a shoe rack or something, this would be a nice spot for that. The washer and dryer are in here. So you can, like, you put in your listed. You want to do your laundry naked? That's fine. That's right. No any of the wiser for it. So. Um, this is a really nice feature. I like this a lot. You've got your, um, now if we leave this awesome closet and turn around, you've got your bedroom here. And this bedroom has this cool built-in shelf, because when we remodeled, this was actually a doorway. Ah. It was weird. There were four bedrooms, and I'm like, this doesn't work. So we actually kept this gap and turned it into a built-in. Just so you cool. have a spot for knickknacks and stuff. Um, king size bed with plenty of room on both sides. Absolutely. And one thing you will love is these USB plugs for your um, cell phones, your iPads, whatever you've got. You can just plug it in without the right key in. right into the wall. So awesome. it's on both sides of the master suite. And I think I have one in the living room and one in the kitchen maybe. I Very don't cool. quote me on that. I don't remember where they are. But um, private patio. Very nice. A little rain out there still. Um, but yeah, you can just imagine putting your furniture out here and getting up in the morning and having a quiet cup of coffee before you have to go deal with the kids and take them to school or whatever. Absolutely. You got your little paver patio. Yeah, and it's got its own gate there to the front yard and you can walk right into the backyard. There's another plug for your TV. Yes, we tried to hide all hide the, the wires. Hide the wires. Hide the wires. All right, so now for the fun part. Yeah. <laughs> what do I see? Why is this back? toilet blue? Why? Why yes, is why? that? Well, Ken, 
I like to do this in every one of my houses too. I put a power plug behind every toilet because you may want to sit on the heated toilet seat, especially in the winter. Even it's just so cozy. It is. <laughs> And then I left this light blue too because this is a cool feature. This is the one feature this that's also in the other um, bathroom. That cool light right there, that night light can change colors. Awesome. And then it can just become a real light and then brighten this thing right up. But check out this right here. You're on my phone so I can't connect the radio right now, but it's a Bluetooth radio. And you can really hear the music, like the one in the hallway when I was working on the house, once that yeah. went in, that's where we played our music from while we were working was that hallway bath. So you just Bluetooth your phone right to this and take a shower, and this shower glass went in yesterday. Awesome. I got a sweet deal from Sea View Glass and Mirror. They're like so good to me. The guy, is, his oh. name's Joseph, and he's so nice. And, um, and it's just beautiful, it's gorgeous. So we did this to protect this, but really you can have this open concept shower. There's, it's a couple shower. It's got two shower heads. It's got the handle. Everything's like a really sleek, clean design in here. And um, it's really, you know, kind of low maintenance. Got your little niches, lots of design going on. I love the alternating pattern on your subway tile. That's cool. That's huh? really cool. Yeah. I wanted to keep it like funky and approachable for mm -hmm. young people and, you know, people I'll who've got a little more experience. Spoiler, I may steal that. Hey, hey. look at Kenley. <laughs> I mean, hey, there's no better compliment, so I'll take it. I'll tell this you, house is already done, so don't you waste yeah, this house. Don't waste this house. <laughs> Let me tell you another thing about the Bluetooth. Yeah. I tried this experiment. One person can play their music in this bathroom, another person can yes. play theirs in their Yes, that's right. So it's very cool. It is cool, yeah. I like it. And it's got the fan here, too. So, oh, yeah. you know, you can keep the airflow going while you're taking your shower or whatever. And I really like having the um, sinks and showers separate from the toilet. The toilet gets Absolutely. its own room. Yeah. Um, it's got these. These are also from Cookies and Slabs. These are... Oh gosh, what kind of wood are those? I forget. We left those natural, and it also has the cool little toilet paper holder. Yeah, I love the wallpaper too. Just oh, a yeah. touch. Just a touch. Yeah, it's the one spot I kind of thought yeah. it needs something fun, funky. So, um, anyway, yeah, I think that about does it for the inside. Let's see if it's still raining outside. Yeah, let's go. Well, all right, Ken, look at it. It's like stopped raining on this side of the street, but it's still raining over still there. Still raining over here a little bit. <laughs> Crazy. Um, so one of the things about this house when I first bought it, I was a little nervous because we had a few trailers still in the neighborhood. And I know when you pull up to a place and, and you see that, you think bad things right away. Well, as it turns out, all these people have lived here for about 20 years. They're super nice. This neighbor over here found me on Facebook one day when we left our uh, our job trailer open and she called us up. She's like, hey, y'all forgot to lock that. And like, they just kept taking care of me the whole time, let us park in front of their spaces while we were doing all the work. And everybody's been really, really cool. So awesome. there's not a lot to worry about here. And if you turn around, you're just surrounded by so many beautiful trees still. That's kind of the nice thing about a neighborhood that hasn't been completely developed yet. Very Look nice. At all those trees. It's great. Love the greenery. I do. I like it. It is pretty quiet over here. Um, haven't had any issues at all. We worked on this house for six months, so you've got a ton of parking right here. You got a nice mailbox you can drive right up to and grab your mail. Um, a ton of parking in the driveway. You can probably fit three cars in a line. But the cool thing is, we left this open so you can drive back here. If you have a boat or you have a trailer or something, you've got room back here. And uh, the grass, we weren't going to run the grass back here, but it's kind of naturally filling itself in. Like that was a much bigger dirt space and it's kind of getting itself sorted out. So Absolutely. park your boat, park your trailer, you can wash your car right here. All great things. Um, and we we're also going to leave this up to the buyer. We've got this ready to put in a gate. Um, we didn't want to put in a gate that opened outwards to both ends of this. It kind of would have to open inwards, um, but you can drive your car in. So we didn't put the gate up yet. We're going to let someone decide if they want that or not. Um, but if you follow me back here, here's your oasis. There it is. It's pretty great. This is all natural. You don't have to do anything except mow it. You know, we thought it, the next 
next person, we kind of ran out of money. We spent a lot of money on this house. But the next person could put a little deck right here in an outdoor cooking area. And it's just perfectly communicating with the fire pit and the hangout. And this wall is great for sitting on. And for all you greenies out there, that <laughs> wall is the recycled original driveway. We awesome. busted it up and uh, our landscape designer, JT, was like, I really want to try this cool thing I saw. And so he made that happen. This wall just looks perfectly planned. But Isn't yet, it cool? Yeah. The hammock. Oh, I like the little welcome sign on the tree. <laughs> yep, and that's real sand. We got real beach sand, brought it in here. Um, it needs to be blown off, but the leaves really haven't been much of a problem. I just haven't been here in a, a week or so. But these are for your hurricane um, shutters, and we have gone and cut plywood. It's already pre-drilled. And that's what all these little knobs are for. You just stick the plywood on there, these twist off, and you're ready to go. You don't even have to think about it, and they're all labeled, so. This uh, lawn came in great, this newly sodded lawn. Yeah, it's strong, this Man, crap. that looks good. We was only under water a couple times. Like yeah. Low maintenance so far. Yeah, I believe that's centipede grass. It is, yes. Which it's is really very soft. drought tolerant, and mm -hmm. looks fantastic. Thank you. Um, yeah, and speaking of the hurricane shutters, I didn't show you the garage. No, let's go check that out. Yeah, through the kitchen here, and this also not just to the garage, but you can get to the backyard from the garage. So we'll start with the garage. Light right here. And you've got enough room for a small car in here, I believe. Sure do. Um, yeah, we, we redid all this. In fact, this was a carport, and we closed it all in. We poured a stem wall of concrete, so you don't have problems with water or termites and then on top of the stem wall we, we then walled it in with wood here. Um, so this is wood, that's concrete going into the house and this cool leather yes. motorcycle jacket. In the oh house. look at that <laughs> Now oh this is another cool feature I forgot to mention. Being that the laundry's in the master closet you don't really want your kids coming into your bedroom right? No. There's a washer and dryer hookup out here too and this is all nice and beautiful. So, um, yep, washer dryer right, washer right here, dryers right here. Um, I'll move all this stuff once I get my tools out of here so you have access to that. But yeah, and then there's like a little bit of storage up here. Um, oh, sure we is. left the rafters off because, what? yeah, we've got some awesome. leftover flooring there in case something happens and you need a piece. And, you know, just some, some scraps of the good wood, but really it's empty up there and, and ready for you to walk up there. Christmas decorations. <laughs> or you can leave them year round. If you want. Yep, yep. So, yeah, you you know, I know people do that. Not many people, but. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's it. So, uh, I believe that this concludes our two. Oh, wait, no. No, one more. Uh, what do they say in the commercials? Or, but wait, wait there's, there's more. more. <laughs> if you're in the kitchen and you need to talk to somebody or you want to like bring out the roast beef you just made. This is your access right here to, to your, the Oasis. The hammock oasis. That's right. There it is. So, okay. That's a good place to say goodbye. All right. Ta-ta for now.